Community Debate. I'm your host, Halima Sadia. After COVID, we are having our life back to normal as we used to call normal before COVID. Yes, life is coming back, so all the events and all the happenings which were happening in Ontario are coming back. One of the most famous among them is Beauty Pageant Contest. Canada Beauty Contest is always happening around the year. Today, we have one of the teenage contestant for Miss Teenage GTA, Miss Lakshita Sharma. Welcome to our show. Thank you. So, Lakshita, let's start with your who is Lakshita. Hi, so I'm Lakshita Sharma. I'm a 17-year-old Brampton, Ontario girl. So, I recently participated in Miss Teenage Ontario Provincials and I got crowned as Miss Teenage GTA 2022. So in a week, I'm actually participating in nationals and I'll be representing GTA in it. And it's my honor to be here today. So Lakshita, uh, so young, so beautiful. Thank you. What was your motivation? Usually we have, in, in, at this point of age, we have a lot of dreams. So what motivated you to go for this? I have always been very interested in pageants and I've actually done a pageant back in India in grade five. And yeah, I won that one as well. And that motivated me to actually like participate more in pageants. And here I am today. So um, how often do you think this happens? This happens annually. So pageants are actually an annual activity. Every year they have two provincials and one national. So what do you look forward in this industry? It's a whole like, I would say it's a very vast, vast industry. So what are your goals and what are your achievements so far? So for now, my goal is to advocate mental health. That's the only thing I'm looking forward to. So through this pageant, I'm actually advocating mental health for youth and I've done a lot of activities. So recently I met our Brampton minister, uh, Kamal Kara, and I had an interview with her and I discussed about mental health with her. I have also ad um, advocated mental health at many events. So I went to Vibrant Brampton and so many others. So especially because of technology mm -hmm. and the change of uh, um, our society and its, uh, its whole fabrication, what do you think that what is the reason for teenage girls not to be able to adjust properly where they want to have their dreams come fulfilled? Uh, I think it's usually how much pressure they have on them. So they have school going on, they have universities going on, they have college going on, and it's hard to actually take out time for stuff that they like. So sometimes people actually don't have time for even extracurricular activities like dance or sports. And I think I'm very honored to actually find time due to summer break and because I'm going to university, so I have this little break in between. And now I'm actually participating in the pageant. So yeah, I found time and I'm grateful for that. So what would you suggest to the girls like you who are struggling, um, their peer pressure, their future pressure, and a lot of uh, mindset against pageants and all that? I would say there's this stereotype against pageants that it's all about beauty. It's not. If you're confident, if you got that leadership uh, quality and you know that you're outspoken, you can actually stand up for yourself. This is definitely for you. Pageants are not that hard if you know you can do it, if you can actually talk about what you want to advocate. Like I wanted to advocate mental health. I knew it from the start when I actually stepped into it. I knew mental health is the one. And yeah, I actually like stepped into it and now I know it's not that tough. So what would you suggest the girls who are at your path and want to join and come into this industry? I would say take your chance. You never know it might be you. Let's just take an example, Sushmita Sen. She thought that she would not make it because Ashwarya Rai was in the competition, but she made it. She won against Ashwarya Rai. She was the first one, she was the winner. Ashwarya Rai was the runner up, yeah. So you could be the one too. Yeah, of course, of course. Our all best wishes are for you. So let's uh, let's talk about a little bit since you talked about Shishmita Sen mm -hmm. and you talked about Ashwarya Rai. They are very uh, well huge uh, advocates of women' right. So as a girl, what do you think? What are the difficulties and how we can overcome them? 
so one of the things is equality i don't think that's very like common in our society and i would say it's important that all of us do what we want to take a step up if we all do what we really like we can maybe bring a, a community where there is equality if you stay at home and you think that there's no equality and you cannot do it or what people would say then definitely there will be no equality so as a girl and as a pageant what are the most difficult points you have so far faced in your life um i think it's how i have to find opportunities to you know advocate and it's tough to actually find platforms where you can go and talk about it so when you're a starter at a at a pageant and you you don't have that much of a fame to actually start or like be an influencer and you're just into the whole industry so it's really tough to actually find platforms like this i'm grateful to be here but yeah so it's really tough to actually find platforms to advocate but once you're in it then you're in it so what do you think how family plays the role in shaping our personalities who we are and who you are influenced in your family by i think when family is really supportive you can actually like do what you want to like my family they supported me in the pageant if they would not they if they wouldn't have supported me over here i would not have been sitting here today they supported me through everything if they would have said no then i probably wouldn't be here and it's important that our family sports are in whatever we want to because if they do not then we find ways to do it so who's your inspiration in the family my mom and my dad definitely because they both are always everywhere where I, wherever i am they always support me they always be with me they always actually help me with everything i want to do not just pageants but school as well so define beauty what is beauty to you beauty is not just the outer beauty it's internal beauty you can have makeup on and you can say that's the outer beauty but that's what appeals to the eye but your personality appeals to the heart how to shape your personality your personality is shaped by how you are kind to others and how you talk to others how nice you are to others how kind you are to others and how nice you can actually be to your community so let's say you have won the competition mm -hmm. so what would be your uh, plan after that after that like i said i'm advocating mental health and that once i win the pageant i actually have a bigger bigger pra uh, platform to advocate mental health i would have so many opportunities na nationwide to advocate about it it's not just a small thing mental health is often taken for granted so we don't know this fact often but once one of five canadians year wise get affected by mental health which means one in every family so i would advocate that i'll make sure everyone knows about it not just the youth but the older people as well lakshita let's talk about the charities and the work so far you have done uh so in the actual pageant we are having a voting that's coming up in a day or two and we are also collecting charities for make a wish so it's a charity for sick kids so we collect money for all of them to make their wishes come true and we also have a lot of other activities such as youtube videos which will also get marked so they those are getting posted in a day or two as well and i would definitely appreciate if if you all could go follow pageant group canada on youtube and like and follow my videos thank you so much for that if you do that so when your contest is going to happen and mm -hmm. how people can vote for you so the voting happens on catchthecrown.com you can go there and there it there'll be a thing that says miss teenage canada 2022 you can click that and then you can vote for me lakshita sharma and uh, other type of votings are on youtube which will be two videos one a day in my life and the other the city tour so that too you can vote for me you, can, you have to subscribe first to like and share and comment how many uh, people are contesting this uh, pageant? pageant there are about to be 40 contestants in the nationals but there were about 100 in the provincials then in the finals of the provincial there were about 25 contestants so how long the time period is from which date to which date uh, it is for the nationals it's from the coming monday which is 15th of august to 20th of august so 5 days and we stay there and a lot of activities fun activities happen so whoever wants to join where should they go and how should they contact they have to apply first uh, so you have to go on google you have to do your little research and then you can see if you are into it and you can definitely just apply it's a simple process
any message you want to convey through us to the audience? I would say if you dream big, you can achieve it. You can, you just have to step up, make sure that you take the step, you do it and you can achieve it. Beauty pageant is all about your balance. It is not only your appearance and your looks. It's all about how your whole personality is and how you contribute what you have taken from the society. Kids like teenagers like Lakshita are very willing to help come and join and give their hand to the community to help people like her. They are motivated, they want to work and they want to contribute. Please go on the website and vote for her so that she can come forward and help and help those who need her help. With these words, thank you very much for watching my show today. Thank you.